so today we are picking up the problem of balancing of several masses rotating in different planes is known as dynamic balancing problem also now what is here there is a shaft and number of masses are rotating at different planes a1 a2 a3 and a4 are different planes the masses rotating are m1 m2 m3 and m4 their radial distances r1 r2 r3 r4 they are given here r1 r2 is r1 is 0.27 r2 is 0.21 r3 0.3 r4 is 0.36 thetas are also given m1 is taken as theta is equal to 0 m2 is at theta 2 is equal to 45 theta 3 is 120 and theta 4 is 255 if it is measured with respect to x axis now we know that when we are supposed to balance the masses in different planes then we cannot balance it by single plane we have to implement two masses in two different planes the location of these planes and their radial distances are already given in the problem so the plane is at l and m their distance from first a1 is given that is all mentioned here and the radius of balancing masses that is the radial distance is also given now how to solve it graphically that we wish to uh, discuss so first of all we will make the table the table will have components like plane mass radial distance centrifugal force divided by omega square will give us the term mr then l is the distance of a plane from reference plane now we are supposed to select either of the plane where we should implement the mass that is l or m as a reference plane so that is what we have picked up here if you will see the reference plane l is taken as a reference plane now if we will see the what are the components of this table so plane number a1 we are having mass of 200 that is m1 is 200 it is at r1 the distance is 0 0.25 then we have multiplied these two to obtain mr now you'll see the location of this plane a1 with respect to reference plane l so it is 120 towards this side so before this that is towards the left it is taken as negative and towards the right of reference plane it is taken as positive distance so a1 will be at minus 0.12 meter that is 120 mm and we multiply then mrl will get this value mrl that is the couple so similarly when we'll talk about plane l balance to be implemented balancing mass is ml which is unknown radial distance is 0.72 already given in the problem so the force become 0.72 ml and because the plane is distance of plane l from plane l is 0 so l is 0 so couple will become 0 a2 is 300 radial distance is 0.21 r2 then uh, it is centrifugal force multiplying this then radial uh, then distance location from the reference plane is 150 that is 0.15 we have got mrl similarly we have calculated for a3 m and a4 that is all we have calculated now how to proceed further if you will see this couple in the column of couple we have one unknown 0.36 mm and in the force column we have two unknowns so it is recommended to start the solution of problem will come from the couples polygon so we'll make the couple polygon first and after making the couple polygon we'll make the force polygon so couple polygon is shown here it is here so what we have done first of all we have drawn the first minus 6.48 so it is interesting how to take minus now this direction it is at 45 this direction is positive so if I am taking negative arrowhead should be towards the horizon so that is what we have taken a suitable scale and we have started the diagram from here we have made, made minus 6.48 like this it is negative positive would have been in this direction so this is negative then where this finishes I will start the next couple that is 9.45 so 9.45 it is going to be parallel to m2 this is this so this is what we have drawn then 
after this we'll go to 21.6 it is parallel to m direction of m3 that is 21.6 then m4 parallel to m4 we have 56.16 this is drawn like this now this is the last point this is the first point and we wish we know that this all is going to make a closed polygon for the balancing so the closing side if i join the last point with the initial point that will give me the value of unknown side that is 0.36 mm so i'll measure this 0.36 mm and convert it with, as per my scale and I, I can show that the value of mm is going to be 1, 106 kg and angle can also be obtained you can measure the angle with respect to uh, this zero axis or you can measure from here also what is going to be angle normally in books it is given from this x axis so we can measure it from this direction after making this diagram we'll go for the force polygon now how to make the force polygon we'll start similarly we'll start with first one 54 that is now positive so it will be in the direction of this so this is taken as positive 54 then after that we'll have 63 so this is this is unknown we'll keep it for the last side keep as the last side so we'll take this one 63 so it is in along the direction of m2 this is like this then 72 that is a3 direction so it is parallel to this then 93.6 parallel to a4 all positive then after this we have obtained the value of mm so as we have obtained the value of mm we know that what is going to be 0 0.72 into mm that is going to be 76.32 so we'll make 76.32 like this it is parallel to what we have obtained from here and magnitude is 76.32 when we'll get the last point we know the first point join them to get the value of unknown side 0.72 ml because this is making again a closed polygon so if we we'll measure it we can calculate the value of ml it is going to be 161 and angle can also be measured directly from here with the graphical method so this is how we can solve um, problem of several masses in different planes and this method is applicable and easy to, for many kind of problem can be solved out of it so this is the fundamental of dynamic balancing through graphical method and this is the method how you can solve any kind of the problem of the masses in different planes we'll proceed in the next lecture for the different problem thank you